gentlemen, the chairman of the Steamboat Institute, Jennifer Schubert Aiken. Welcome freedom lovers to the sold out to the sold out fourth annual Steamboat Institute Freedom Conference. You are the citizens, the citizen leaders the founding fathers knew would step forward to save our country. My name is Jennifer Schubert Aiken. I'm the chairman of the Steamboat Institute. It is indeed a privilege and a pleasure to serve as chairman of the Steamboat Institute. You know, when we started this back in 2009 and put on our inaugural Freedom Conference, we didn't know if anyone would show up. Now we're turning people away. So, um, thank you. We welcome those of you who have come from all over our great nation. We have a large contingent from Florida, uh, several from Illinois, Iowa, Texas, California, Utah, all over the country. Uh, uh, I'm not sure how many states, but it's a bunch. Um, we have seen, I think you will agree, in our country in, in the last three years, we have seen a real change in our country. We've seen more citizen leaders stepping forward. Um, and we're proud that the, the Steamboat Institute is at the forefront among uh, other, a few other select organizations in Colorado that are leading the way um, in saving our country and turning the tone of the country, turning the direction of the country. The Steamboat Institute, for those of you who are not familiar with our organization, is an educational organization organized as a 501c3. We are a nonprofit, we are nonpartisan. We welcome you regardless of your political affiliation or ideology. Um, if you're just here to learn more about the bedrock principles, that's what we're focused on. The five bedrock principles of American exceptionalism. And those principles are lower taxes, limited government, free market capitalism, or as Milton Friedman used to say, if you put the federal government in charge of the Sahara Desert in five years, there'd be a shortage of sand. <laughs> Four, individual rights and responsibilities, and number five, a strong national defense. The Steamboat Institute understands that America is exceptional because of the American people, because of you, not because of the government. Individual liberty is fundamental to this being an exceptional nation we live in, and promoting individual liberty is fundamental to the Steamboat Institute. The Steamboat Institute is the ultimate grassroots effort. Those of us who founded the Steamboat Institute did so because we love our country and we're concerned about the direction it is heading. We all have full-time jobs, our board of directors, we all have full-time jobs, uh, small businesses, full-time full careers, just like most of you. Um, but we do this because we love our country and we, we saw a need to stand up and do something. Our goal for today and tomorrow is to educate you on these five bedrock principles and to then inspire you to go back to your communities, wherever it may be, in Florida or Virginia or California or wherever it may be, and to be a citizen leader. And by the way, as you will see throughout this program, we want you to have fun in the process of learning more about these bedrock principles. And now I would like to introduce you to our great board of directors. I'm the one who gets to stand up here and introduce everyone and, and make the remarks, but I'm just one player on a great team, and I want to introduce you to my team. Vice President of Operations for Native Excavating, spent a four-year stint in the People's Republic of Boulder, and yet has always found the five pillars of the Steamboat Institute to hold precedence in his life. Charlie MacArthur, Vice President of Native Excavating. <laughs> Next, the President of Victory Health, consultant to a variety of, of politicians, is currently serving on a Romney uh, Healthcare Steering Committee. Uh, has consulted with many public and private organizations on healthcare issues and is a board certified trauma physician, Dr. Kelly Victory. <laughs> Dr. 
She served in the U.S. Army and then in the Department of Defense in Germany and Washington, D.C., and was later a senior human resources executive for both Prudential and Air Canada, among other uh, large organizations. Um, she and her husband are also our 1773 Club sponsors, Sherry Karsten. She is a pharmacist here in Steamboat and works with the new Joint Mobility Program at Yampa Valley Medical Center here in Steamboat Springs, which is doing very exciting work. Ann Lowe. <laughs> he is the owner and operator of Hoffmeister Personal Jewelers in downtown Steamboat, a beautiful store. If you've not yet been in, I strongly encourage you to make a visit while you're here which he founded in 1973, by the way. He's a former Republican nominee for Congress in the 10th District of Indiana, where he narrowly lost, made 18 trips to the former Soviet Union to teach democratic capitalism during the 1990s, Gary Hoffmeister. <laughs> and finally, our board vice chairman, he has a law, uh, his law practice is based in Steamboat Springs, Denver, and Austin. He also produced all of the videos you will see throughout this conference. My husband of 31 years, Rick Aiken. We also have a local advisory board that pitches in with great ideas and money and anything else we need whenever we need it. I would also like to recognize them, Roger Burton, Rich Lowe, Ed MacArthur, and Bill Stewart. Now I want you to know some boards just write checks and attend an occasional board meeting. These folks roll up their sleeves and do the hard work and write the checks. So we, we simply could not do this without this great team that we have, and I'm extremely grateful to them. Um, I would also like to recognize, I hope she's in the room, um, our new event coordinator this year, Sarah Nacon. Hey, Sarah. Um, we also have an amazing army of volunteers who do a wonderful job in helping us put this on. Um, you will know them by their name badges. Please be sure and thank them when you see them. Um, finally, we have many wonderful donors and sponsors um, who make it possible to bring you this Freedom Conference. They are listed in your program. I strongly encourage you to, to take a moment and see who these wonderful people and organizations are. They're also listed on a sponsor board out in the hallway. Um, just some fabulous support we have um, from here in Steamboat and across the state. Um, now, I would also like to remind you to turn off cell phones, or at least put them on vibrate. No audio video recording, please. We are recording, and we will provide video on our website following the conference. And now, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, I would like to introduce the founder of the Young Capitalist Club, Greg Pulsher. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thanks, Greg.